Buenos dias, Peregrino, Camino Min, with my final diary entry. Today is Tuesday, 19th of June, 2012, Helen's birthday. Happy birthday, Helen. Thank you for allowing me to be on this adventure and away from you on your birthday. Hope you had a good day. Um, so, final leg of the journey, not a long one today, just six hours, and we regrouped all 40 of us just two or three hundred yards away from our final destination in a small plaza where we had a, a quick prayer before making our journey down the narrow streets of San Diego um, about a year ago when we first started training for this walk. Um, met with a gentleman and we seemed to click from the outset and I, uh, he very kindly allowed me to make those last few hundred yards uh, walk with him, um, just in silence, and uh, uh, was a very special a uh, few hundred yards into the plaza uh, in front of St. James's Cathedral, which you can see behind me. And um, there's all sorts of, of reasons why people perhaps make this journey, and certainly within our group, there are some who are doing the journey in memory of those who have died, or perhaps those who are seriously ill. Um, I didn't really come with any preconceived ideas or expectations, and uh, was very surprised when reaching this point to be overcome and uh, had quite an outpouring of emotion which surprised me and for which I actually felt somewhat guilty because uh, I didn't have a, a really, really serious reason for being here. But um, There was a, a lady within our group who I've known for uh, some years and for whom I've always had great admiration and respect and during our journey I've become closer to and she chose that point in time to come up and embrace me for only a couple of moments, a very simple couple of moments, but uh, I have to say a very special few moments and with a person from our group who um, was just the right person for me to share those few moments with. I think in life there are often many moments which are uh, you're expecting to be very special, uh, births and marriages and uh, graduations, but uh, I didn't expect this moment to be such an emotional one, so thank you very much for that. Um, very well timed and very much appreciated. Um, most people who finish their journey here, their pilgrimage, would, would go into the Pilgrim's 12 noon mass service which we duly did and I'm glad to say that the Botafumer I think it's called which is a large incense burner about the size of a large rucksack which is swung high aloft in the church with incense smoke pouring out and um, although of course the service was <laughs> in language which I didn't understand it was a very enjoyable service and uh, uh, a nice service to mark the end of our journey. Um, I've, I suppose, whilst I didn't come with any expectations, um, I hope that my journey has answered, um, not exactly answered some questions, but uh, uh, certainly allowed me to um, ponder on where I'm heading, where I've come from, where I'm going. Um, and I'm sure over the coming months there will be more which would be gained from my experience on the Camino. Certainly I didn't imagine that I could ever walk 100 miles and I know some of you also probably thought I couldn't but uh, it just makes you realise that uh, things are taken in bite-sized chunks, anything's possible. Uh, some people make the journey from France, taking many weeks, uh, some much shorter journeys, 
some would come by coach, some car, motorbike, motor push bike. Uh, we chose to come on foot and um, I think really the, the certificate you get, your Compostela, which is here in the tube, uh, will be very special for me. Uh, it marks a hundred mile walk and a huge amount of learning. Uh, a wonderful experience and I could guarantee that anyone that may wish to make a similar journey, however long and by whatever mode of transport, uh, I can guarantee you it will be a, a wonderful experience and uh, a very big box to tick. So thank you for taking the time to share this journey with me and look forward to seeing you all at home. Adios.